Welcome to another mini training. My name is Adrian Lee from Videolane.com. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to overlay a video over a video in Premiere Elements. This is uh, uh, this is this is the answer to questions which my viewers have left on my YouTube channel. One one asked, "Can you overlay edit like uh, for gaming commentaries with a face cam in this software?" He's referring to Adobe Premiere Elements. And another person asked, another viewer asked, how could I put a picture or a background behind a moving video? So what they are referring to is sort of this, a moving video over a moving video, all right? So this video, the small one with a face and a green background, that's, that's what we call the overlay video. And the one at the background, we call it the background video. So just to get it, get the terms right, we call this the background video, and the one on top of it, the overlay video. So get back to our notes. All right. I'll be using, I'll be using these two terms, background and overlay. So let's begin. The first thing you have to do is to switch to expert mode in your Premiere Elements. All right, you can't edit in quick mode. You have to do it in expert mode. Right, whatever demonstration I do in Premiere Elements, it will always be in expert mode because that's where you can tap the full potential of this software. Okay, so we are in expert mode right now. Next, we shall move on to dragging the background video clip onto any video track in the timeline, all right? So I've already imported some videos here for our demonstration. Okay, let me show you what videos we are using. This one, fish, blue fish swimming in the background. We'll use this as the background video. All right, and we'll use this guy as the overlay video, as you have seen in the example just now. Okay, so let's pull in the background video first. Drag and drop the blue fish video onto video one track. It can be on any video track, but for this demonstration, I'll put it onto video one track. All right, so when you play back, you will see all right, the bluefish swimming in the blue sea. Pause. Moving back to our slides. Next, drag the overlay video clip on the video track above the background video track. Okay, what this means is I want the overlay video clip to be on top of the background video clip, on the track above the background video clip. Let's turn this off. All right, so our background video clip is on video one track, and we want the overlay clip to be on top of it. So it will be video two track, All right? So when we play back, it will be like this, okay? the Video two track is covering the video one track. Now we can't see the fish. We can only see this guy's face. Okay, so let's move step by step. And this is a common question. What if you do not have a video track on top? Okay, this happens, right? This happens to some of your premier elements. All right, if you can't see a video track on top, you have to go to the right hand side scroll bar and scroll upwards. As you can see, I have more video tracks on top. I have video three. And now, let's say if you have already used up video one and video two, and your background video is on video three, there is no more video track on top. What do you do? All right? You can't scroll any further. There's nothing on top. All you have to do is to move your mouse over video three track, right click, and then select add tracks and then it will ask you how many 
tracks you want to add, how many video tracks, and how many audio tracks. Just leave it as one and click OK. Voila, can you see? You can't see, so scroll upwards. There you go. You have a new track, video four and audio four track. Okay, you can go on until over 100 tracks until your computer cannot process anymore. So this is site tracking. Let's go back to our notes. I'm just answering on the common questions with like, which I get when I teach this overlaying trick. Next, we go to apply effects, select motion, select scale. Let's do it. Okay, let's, first of all, we want to make this smaller, like the example I showed you just now. So we want to scale it down, scale the size down. You know what, let's close this project assets window so that we can see it fully. First, we select the clip of this guy, of the overlay clip. Then we go to apply effects, open it up, open up motion selection. And then if you see down here, you see scale, move the scale backwards my, towards minus. You can see the picture getting smaller now. All right. So as I move, you can see the background appearing, okay, revealing itself, the bluefish background. Okay, at this point, let's go back to our notes. Reduce the scale. Yep, we've done that. Or an easier way I would recommend is to adjust within the preview monitor, right? Adjust within the preview monitor. What I mean is go in, this is the preview monitor where we look at what's happening. Instead of adjusting from the applied effects panel, I would love, I, I prefer to adjust straight from the preview monitor. All right, click on the image and you will see tiny squares surrounding the image, all right, or rather the video clip. These are called the handles, the tiny square called the handles. Just hold on to any of the handles. I'll, I'll hold on to the top left one and then drag it inwards and downwards. Okay, if you go the other way, you'll go larger. Okay, so drag it until the size that you like. You can go up to very tiny until it disappears, but that's not what we want. So up to your preference, I prefer to maybe about this size, right? What about position? I can adjust the position over here in the applied panels, applied effects panel, but I prefer to adjust it right straight in this monitor. So just click on any part of the video clip and drag it. You can drag it anywhere in the screen, including outside the screen or partial of the screen. So let's say I want to put it somewhere here on the bottom right hand corner, okay and play back and watch. Voila. And that's what we want. Or to say, yep, we've already done this. Adjust the scale and size and position of the overlay video. That's it. Any questions, post it in the comment box below. But uh, I have a few more things to say, some bonus tips, okay? Here, what if you want the background to be an image? Like for the second question, these two are motion videos. They are both of them are moving, right? What if I want the bottom piece, the background to be a still image? Okay, I already have prepared in my project assets panel, a JPEG picture what we call bamboo eyes. Okay, first we have to delete our background image, click on it and right click, select delete. Okay, you can see it's all black now. And then we drag down our JPEG underneath the talking head video. Of course, the duration is rather short, so I'm gonna expand it. Okay. And let's close the project assets panel and playback. 
There you go. It's a still image and the overlay video of me talking over a still image. So if you like this video, there is more. Download the full course at www.videolane.com slash prel. Thank you very much. See you in the next mini training.